Hello, this is Wendy Velosa, and I am a mindset and lifestyle and executive coach for socially conscious entrepreneurs. So I help you take ideas to action and change the world. I'm here today to show you how you can take your social impact topic that you talk about on Clubhouse, just like I do where I talk about money mindset and manifestation every Monday, and you can turn this into repurposed content for other platforms. We'll specifically be talking today about Instagram and how to turn your Clubhouse audio into an Instagram carousel post. There are a couple of tips and tricks in here. It's way too difficult to put it into any kind of writing. I thought it would be best to show you through video, but if you if you want to know more about this repurposing strategy, you can go down below and find the link to a free download. That download will show you how you can take the Clubhouse audio as the originating source and use it across multiple platforms. It's a three page, knock your socks off, full workflow that you can have for free. If you're interested, go and download it and I will send that directly to your email box. You also can get the full ebook that talks about every step on how you can actually complete the workflow. And this part of it is part of that workflow. So as I go through this, just keep in mind, there are other parts to the, to the process if you're going to be repurposing this content, but I wanted to make sure that you knew that this is what we are working towards today. We are working towards having a carousel post that we can put on Instagram with the audio from Clubhouse. So there's a couple of things that I want to pay attention to telling you before we get started. First of all, Clubhouse will give you the audio for your room. You are the originator. If you are up in that far left corner and you are the person creating the room, that means that you can turn the replays on if your clubs allow replays. When you download the replay, what you will get is an MP4 file. Now I've also for free on another website downloaded um, or converted this to an MP3 file because I wanted to have that just in case I wanted to drop it directly into Canva. And I wanted to show you that you could just drop this file directly into the uploads for Canva. As I have here, you'll see audio files and you can just take this and pull it straight into your Canva template. That'll start playing the audio file and the audio file will go across both of these posts when you download it as a video. And that is how you have a one minute post for your carousel. So in the carousel post, you have up to 10 of these one minute videos that you can create. That means you can take up to 10 minutes of the content from your clubhouse room in separate clips and put them into one minute clips each. So that is the first part that you want to do. Now it's really difficult in the actual Canva editor to make sure that you have those one minute clips available and easy to use. It might take a little bit more time than you think to edit those down to one minute. So there's another trick that I can show you. If you have a MacBook and or some other product that has GarageBand, you can use GarageBand for this. So instead of translating it into an MP3 and then uploading it into Canva, you would actually just drag and drop this MP4 directly into GarageBand. And when Okay, here we go. Let's resume. So I had a little bit of audio trouble. I cut out a big part of the recording and now we are back so I can show you how the editing process actually works. So once you drag the MP4 or actually the MP3 audio into GarageBand or the MP4, either way, you put it into GarageBand and it actually will come up like this on your timeline. Now there's a little ticker here that you can drag and you're going to drag and drag that until you get to the spot that you want to edit. When you get to the spot that you want to edit, you know that you have only one minute. So what I do, as I said before, is try to time about what's under a minute and how do I know when that message ends? And so I kind of clip for that one minute. Then I listen to it in itself and see if it's standalone sounds good. Then I go ahead and finally end the clip. So the first thing you want to do is find the beginning. So this is my beginning. This is where I'm going to start. And you want to come up here to edit and you're going to say split regions at playhead. That is going to give you two separate files. Now this is the file that if you delete it, it will then take you all the way back. This needs to go all the way back to the beginning for it to be the beginning of the audio recording. So you'll take this away, but we'll do that in just a second. So I know that this is about a minute and I remember when I was listening to the recording about what the end of it is. So I'm just gonna go a little further and listen to it again. 
I think it ends probably around here. Yeah, exactly. So right here is where the end is. And I will go up here and say split regions at playhead. So now I know that I have my one minute clip. This is the very first one. Oops, maybe I didn't do it right. Hold on. Let's make sure it's there. Sometimes GarageBand is finicky. It didn't split. Okay. This is my one minute of audio that I want to take away, but I want to first, before I delete that, make sure that this sounds good. So I'm going to play it one more time. So that is good for me. Yes, perfect. That is a perfect audio clip, stands alone by one minute. You can hear the message. You can hear exactly what I'm saying. And you can hear that it's um, a concise, you know, sort of bit of information that can easily be translated to another platform. So I want to push backspace, delete that audio in the back and the front. Now, I think that there is a way to be able to more easily move this over all the way to the beginning of your audio clip. I have not figured it out yet because I am not a GarageBand expert. Go look some other YouTube for that. What I am doing is just simply dragging the one minute audio clip over to the beginning of my play. Um, I don't really know what this is. I guess this is my region, um, but this is where the audio is going to play in GarageBand. So I'm just simply gonna drag it all the way to the left It'll come all the way to the front. Now I'm sure that there's a way to do that much easier. Then you'll just come and say, save as. This will be the one audio on my uh, blockers. So I want to save this as a GarageBand file because this is where I know I have the information that I was working with before. And uh, how long the clip is and all that stuff is all kind of going to be in GarageBand. And if I want to edit it in GarageBand further to put it down, I can always do that. If I don't save it in GarageBand, then that's a problem because then I have to redo this whole entire process. So then I want to say share, and you want to export to song to disk. This is where you don't want to save it in the same place as GarageBand. I have another set of files that I use for this, so I'll navigate to those really quickly. Clubhouse Room Audio, and this is the clip that I want, and I want to export it to that place. Yes, that's fine. Go ahead. So now I believe if I go into my finder and navigate back to where I saved that file, I should be able to see my manifestation blockers MP3. Here it is. So what I want to do is then go over to Canva. This is again, my first post. I want to upload some media. I want to navigate back to the same file where I saved it, Clubhouse Room Audio here. It comes up in your audio folder of your upload media, which is just here. And you're just going to drag and drop that over the post. And you'll see that when that happens, the audio just becomes part of the post. And when you do that, one of the things to know is that this first page of the post, you don't actually want to animate it. Because if you animate it, then that means that the animation won't show up until after the video starts playing. And then when you have it on your um, static feed of your profile, it'll show up like a blank post. It'll just show up like this wall, which isn't helpful. So you want to make sure that this first page has the animation switched off. If you want to, you can animate the second page just to give some visual interest. So I've used fade. I've used a couple of other things. We'll use rise for this one. And what happens is you'll get a video. And if I go a little further, abundance, common abundance blocks or blocks 
and there goes that second post where it comes in as a um, fade up or rise up and then it goes all the way to the end of the clip right so this is one of my carousel pages so this is like i said one minute so it's a one minute video and i would just download this as a mp4 video both pages and just download that then i would take each of these so i'd go through the same process edit out another minute and then put that into the content for my second po part of the post so if my carousel only has two parts of the post this is going to be my second one minute video and this one is a um, a clip about limiting beliefs. So I'll go back through the same process going into GarageBand, making sure to clip that one minute about limiting beliefs, and then I'll save it the same way I did, upload it into Canva and create a second video. You'll see that it takes a minute for the whole entire thing to download, um, more than a minute, <laughs> a long time. So you'll wait for all of these videos to download. While you do that, you can go over into Creator Studio. And then you go into Creator Studio from Facebook, you can upload these into your Instagram feed directly. So it should open, you'll navigate to your Instagram. I have several. This is the one I wanna to post to. And you'll see I have all the posts that I've already put up. I'll go to create post, we'll go to Instagram feed, and this is where I'll select the feed that I want. You'll go to add content from upload, and then you'll see that I downloaded that carousel here into my downloads. Now, if I had more than one, what I would simply do is select both files. So I would select both files and then that would become the first and the second, and you can move them around if they get mixed up. But since I've only done one of those, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like when I do just one. So then I'm just gonna select it. And here you see, I have my Clubhouse audio that I've clipped in GarageBand, added in Canva to this carousel post, or even if this is just a one-off post, this is how you can do it. You would just stop here essentially. Now, if you wanted to do a carousel post and you were gonna do multiples, as I said before, you would come back into GarageBand. One of the things that you can do is just get rid of this audio here. You're gonna come here, you're gonna delete the track, the regions, oh, that's fine. We're gonna delete that. And we're gonna do the same thing over again by coming to where we had our MP3 or MP4. I'll show you with MP4, it'll come up. We'll then go back the same as we did before. Oops. Two out of the way. We'll go back the same as we did before with our little clicker. We'll figure out where exactly the clip is. We'll clip that clip. We'll resave it. We'll drop it into Canva in the second carousel post, and then we'll save this one. And then when I go to upload it, as I said, instead of just selecting one file, you'll select two files, and that'll be your carousel post. Do your caption, hashtags, and schedule it to publish. And that is what you have. So I'm so happy to bring this to you today, and I hope that you'll join us in the Social Impact Level Up Club on Clubhouse on a Monday or a Wednesday where we talk about issues related to social entrepreneurship. We also talk about manifesting and money mindset and all kinds of other interesting things. If you want the resources, as I said, a free guide on how to use your Clubhouse replays, a strategy workflow that you can follow today to do the same thing I am doing, which is repurposing your audio content on your blog. You can use it on Instagram, in your newsletters, in your resource library. There's so many places that you can use it, and I will show you exactly how. If you want to get the free, the sorry, if you want to get the solutions ebook, the solutions ebook is also listed below, and you can take a look at all of the things that that offers on the link below. I give you not only the workflow for this process, but also in addition to this video, the other ways that you can repurpose the audio on the other platforms that I just described. So thank you for joining me today for this video. I hope you have found it very interesting. I hope you have found it educational and I hope that I will see you around the hallways on Clubhouse. Make sure you comment below, you follow me here 
and I will be happy to share any of my knowledge with you about how we can all work together to change the world.